I'm sitting here in my taxi. I'm riding back from Wachula with my buddy Juan and my expat friend Kristen. And I have a guest here today that we've never done a video about. There's another YouTuber here in Ecuador, if you can believe it. <laughs> and as soon as I come back, I'm going to show you who he is and we're going to have a small chat with him. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. So shortly after I came here, I met this guy here from Canada. And he's uh, younger than most of us expats, and he is a uh, very interesting character. And I gotta tell you, when I'm when I'm when I found him or he found me. He wanted to come and meet me at breakfast, and he had a tough time finding Dulce and Cremoso. And I just kept telling him it was in the mall and in the mall. Well, he's standing outside, out on the patio or out on the um, on the sidewalk outside, right outside the restaurant, outside the mall, standing right in front of Dulce and Cremoso, telling me that he couldn't find the place. <laughs> so, <laughs> without further ado. I want to introduce you to the one and only Mr. Ecuador's Raw and Real, my buddy from Canada, from Vancouver, right? Vancouver? Yeah. Uh, Carmen McLeod, and here he is right here. We're on our way back from getting his cedula. There, so, hello, there he is. my friends. <laughs> yes, it's been a great day uh, hanging out with the, with the crew here. Uh, very helpful. I uh, got our great driver, Juan, here, and uh, say hi, Juan. Hi, thank you so much. And then there's Kristen. <laughs> and that's Kristen, another nice uh, expat from the U.S. Of course, I'm the Canadian expat, so, you know, hey. Uh, there's always going to be somebody different. Right, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm the other part in Don's video at the end there. <laughs> the, I'm that guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you some questions, okay? Please. Because I know that everybody's going to want to know about this. You just went through the process of getting your cedula. Yes. That's why we went to Waikil. Yeah. We came down here so Kristen could get her cedula, you get your cedula, and I got my lunch at McDonald's. So, <laughs> overall, what do you think about the process of getting your, your cedula? Tell us about that. What did you have to go through to get it? And just tell us about the process and what you thought about it. Sure. Well, when, once I had the the visa with once I had the visa approved through the uh, office in Manta, I was under the impression uh, or was told that I could just go down to the uh, office in uh, Waikil and uh, obtain my uh, cedula from down there. That was pretty much all I was told. Uh, then. Of course, uh, trying to set that up with uh, my buddy Shader because uh, <laughs> I wanted to drag him down there with me. Uh, he made some phone calls and you know did the uh, did a little bit of research and found out that I can't go on a, any day. I have to go through the week. So we uh, arranged for he arranged for a, a ride with uh, the good good driving team here, the, the Juan Zambrano team, and. Uh, we uh, came down to Guayaquil today and uh, got fast tracked through the uh, system there at the, at the uh, Silver Registry. And uh, me and Kirsten had to probably wait, I don't know, maybe a couple hours. Was it that long? Yeah. Not even, I don't think. I, don't know, hey, I, think, I know it was at least an hour, I know for sure. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Yeah. So uh, I think with my device, uh, was able to get me uh, through there a little quicker. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. Uh, it was a five dollars is all I had to pay, and I got my uh, two year good for two years now. And uh, they gave it to me there right on the spot. Bam. Right. Yeah. So when you went in, you of course the everybody had to have a mask on. Yeah. I noticed. Did they did they actually uh, check your backpack? No, they, okay. actually, they All didn't. Right. All right, so but you, so you had to go in, and you had to pay your five dollar fee to get your number, I guess, right? And then that, you had to go wait in a room. That's, that's right. the way it was. Yeah. yeah. 
All right. So then they inter called you up here and interviewed you, and no, nope, they uh, didn't even interview me. Oh, I, I don't mean. I'm sorry. They they got your information. They, yeah, yeah. They, they grabbed my information, and then uh, that was it. We were. I just me and Kirsten just walked around basically from one section to the other. Okay. And at the last section is where they uh, gave me my the physical uh, ID card. Yeah. Okay. And that was perfect. You. Yeah. Good. So, where is home for you? It's Vancouver, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a Vancouver, British Columbia boy. Yeah. How long have you been here? I've been in uh, Manta, Ecuador for 11 months now. 11 months, oh wow. Yeah. And you have a wife and a child? I do, I have yeah. a caretaker, uh, the mother of my child. Mm -hmm. um, I have an 11 year old son, Christian. Uh, Christian, and he uh, goes to a really excellent school here in uh, Manta who was offered a scholarship actually yeah that's and cool. uh, he's been uh, he's been really just uh, he's enjoying the he enjoys enjoyed he's enjoying the move yeah and he's fitting in really well and uh, he's a real adventurous kid so of course yeah. he's my kid so uh, sure it makes a big difference <laughs> he's, he's down for an adventure yeah. And uh, that's uh, what we're doing. And so far, there's no looking back. Good, good. So, I, me, personally, and lots of my friends and a lot of people, we all know a little bit of something about you. Uh, we know that you happen to have a, uh, a, a device that literally keeps you alive from moment to moment. Yeah. Uh, I'm can alive you tell on us that. about that, please? Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, essentially, I'm uh, alive on batteries. I don't have a pulse. No pulse, no problem. Right. <laughs> um, four years ago, uh, April 1st, actually, four years ago, no yeah. joke, April 1st. April Fool's Day. Yeah, yeah. April Fool's Day. Yeah, not, a, not a joke, though it was. I thought I had the flu. Anyways, we were living in uh, Saskatchewan at the time. And I went home thinking I had the flu, and it turned out I was in end stage heart failure. I had a about a eight percent effraction rate on my left ventricle, and uh, organs were shutting down, and I was essentially just uh, dying. And yeah. uh, so, a long story short, uh, five months uh, I spent it in the I spent in the hospital. I had two open heart surgeries. Uh, I almost died a couple of times. Uh, thousand blood transfusions it was uh, touch and go for quite a while I had to learn to walk again I lost about uh, 80 to 100 pounds while I was in the hospital and um, eventually I was implanted with a uh, pump okay. called the left ventricular assist device an LVAD LVAD yeah yeah so and that thing is run on batteries, and you keep that battery pack on you all the time? Yep. 24 7. We're yeah. in this fanny pack right here. Yeah. Got the batteries right here. Here's the batteries. There's, yeah. there's two of those. Make yeah. sure we're alive. Yeah. We're oh, good. Thank anyway. God, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you got four we, green lights. We got four <laughs> green lights, so we're good there. And then my heart, uh, you know, I gotta wear my heart. I wear yeah. my heart in my pocket. Yeah. Uh, there, there's my heart. Wow. And, uh, it's amazing. Yeah, running at about uh, 5,300 RPM. So even without a stethoscope, if you put your ear close to my chest, you can hear it. It yeah. sounds like a fax machine. <laughs> oh, wow. But I'm looked after by one of the best LVAD teams in the world, the Mazinkowski Heart Institute out of Edmonton, Alberta. Wow. And so, if I may ask, what age were you when this all started? Well... How old am I now, Don? I'm, I'm, I'm 50. 50? <laughs> yeah. You just turned 50. Yeah, I just turned 50. Yeah. So I've had the device for four years. So four years. 46. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, 46 so. years old. And I've been uh, healthy all my life. Uh, well, this was started by a virus, right? Yeah. It was just a virus that you got? Viral infection. Yeah. Uh, apparently come through your mouth, uh, through a cavity. Um, something like like that yeah well thank god i mean you're still kicking and going there's some limitations on the things you can do like you can't go swimming in the ocean no or in any 
any pool, I guess. So, no swimming allowed. Yeah. No swimming allowed. But uh, and that's for obvious reasons. You have electronics. Yeah, and that, your body. <laughs> that's it. You know, I can't have a shower. I have yeah. a showers, but everything's got to go in a shower bag and uh, keep sure. it very sealed up. And uh, but I'm very hopeful that uh, with technology, uh, the batteries are getting smaller. There's even uh, talks of an internal device. Which oh, wow. uh, I'm up for. I, I am 100% able to have a heart transplant. Yeah. But I don't want one. Yeah. I don't want a heart transplant. I will. I'll be more than happy to keep the LVAD and see where technology goes with it. Yeah. Yeah. So on an average day, what is your day like here in Monta? I mean, you. I mean, I, you probably. I mean, it's probably just like anybody else, right? Uh, yeah, you get I, up. And you do you have to change this thing out every day, or do you have to change your dressing? I uh, well, they it's attached to your chest. And the batteries, well, the batteries last all day. Yeah. So here I'll give you give a picture of the right. the whole thing here. This is uh. Yeah. Oh this, yeah. This here is the uh, drive line. Yeah. The drive line goes inside the body up underneath this uh, dressing here. Yeah, yeah. Goes over to the left ventricle where the pump's going on. Okay. And these are the battery cords. Yeah. That's yep. all attached to the heart. Yeah. And uh, basically, th th this stuff never, this never leaves. Never leaves you, yeah. But these batteries, I get to change and plug into a wall cord okay. at nighttime so I can, uh, it's a little more freeing i sure. can do you know i can go to the bathroom i got about a 15 foot cord okay and uh, that allows me to move around the bedroom at night time and, okay. and whatnot so 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 now you're we know that your son goes to school is your wife working or is what does she do no i need uh she's, she's taking care of she, you yeah i, I keep uh, an eye on you i require a full-time caretaker <laughs> yeah uh, just just uh, two years ago and actually while we were here i had a hypnosis event yeah uh, uh, a delirium I, I went into a delirium delirium yeah and uh, i was trying to pulling my cords out I was having a real crazy oh, wow. delirious episode and um, yeah trying to rip the cords out yeah. and uh, just just not good and you get really lightheaded there's a ton of uh, side effects with having the LVAD like lightheadedness dizziness yeah. um, you just pass out uh, just sure. like that sure. so sure. Oh, it's and it's fluid dependent, so I got to drink a ton of fluid and uh, piss like a racehorse. And, <laughs> you know. So now you're. Do you have to? Do you have to have a special diet or anything? You, you, you eat just like everybody else, or I you eat know, whatever nothing? I want. Whatever you want. <laughs> what about uh, uh, drinking? Can you drink alcohol if you want? Yeah, you I know? can. Yeah. I can drink alcohol if I want. So you can live a normal life just like anybody else. You just have a. Yeah, the machine I, it keeps your heart going. Yeah, and I can't, so I can't swim. I got yeah. to retire though. You know what? You know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Most people would rather be dead than have this device. Yeah. That's the fact. Yeah. That's the fact. Or, or they want the gift. Yeah. The heart transplant. Right. Uh, well, my question is, what saved your life? The Elvad saved your life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so to me, the, the, the gift is the LVAD. Sure. And I have seen way too many people over the last four years that received their gift after doing perfectly fine on the LVAD and then never got to leave the hospital because their new heart didn't mm -hmm. take or this or that. Right. You're just essentially trading one problem for another problem. And yeah. if it's not broken, why fix it? So... It's true. That's um, true. Now yeah. you're getting ready to go back to Canada yeah. to see your doctor. Is, is there anything? Is it? Is that a special visit, or is it? It's a routine visit, or it's a routine yeah. checkup, of okay. course, for my insurance company. Okay. Number right. one, who's yeah. paying my, pays the bills, right? Yeah. Yeah. My insurance company demands that I go back and see them, and I'm quite, you know, uh, graciously, I want to go back and see them. Because I want to, you know, find out how the right heart yeah. is doing, yeah. how the right side of my heart is going on. Uh, you, you know, have them check my 
cords. I got a fray on one of my cords. I need mm -hmm. some new batteries. You can only recharge a lithium battery so many yeah. times. Yeah. And because I'm the only one in the whole country that has the device, uh, I can't get nothing done here for yeah. I yeah. have to go back to Canada. Sure, sure. Well, okay, so yeah. I'm gonna leave it at that. That there's it's pretty I, I, I think it's pretty gutsy to <laughs> to want to you know to come to another country but it, it just proves the point that you can still live the life that you want to live and you don't really use this as a hindrance or you know as a real disability even though in some cases it works to your advantage because you get to go to the front of the line <laughs> at the at the ministry where you get your schedule <laughs> right that works so perfect yeah oh, you know what I, I essentially like to think that this just puts me on the level playing field with yeah. other people yeah, yeah. you know uh, I had to slow down one way or another I was a bit of a wild child uh, yeah. uh, most of my life and uh, you know uh, yep yep so, you know, yeah, I think you're pretty wild now, too. <laughs> so this has calmed me down sure, a lot. Sure. And uh, you know what? I got to retire about 19 years early because of the device. So I look at the things that uh, that I'm grateful for. You look for. at the positive side I of all this. look at the positives yeah. instead yeah. of the negatives. And, you know, I get to hang out with the retired old guys like yeah, Don like now <laughs> and uh, Kirsten. <laughs> well, well, Kristen is a young one here. Yeah. So... Uh, I actually know she's not. I think you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I'm the young one. Or Juan one. is, yeah. Juan. How old are you, Juan? 20. 20, 20 yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going yeah. to be 39 next month. Nice. 39 next month. Well, it's been really great to be here. Right? And, you know, like, I, I would have never had this opportunity. Had right. this not happened, I would not have this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And uh, quite honestly, I love my life. I love my new life. Sure, sure. And, uh, Absolutely. Well, there's there's a lot of people that probably would have given up, but now, um, especially four years you've had this. Yeah. So there's a lot of people. There's a Don. Unfortunately, yeah. there's a lot of people that go uh, go home with the device, and they purposely, purposely unplug it. Unplug it. Wow. And just let them. Uh, just yeah. let the hurt stop and they fall asleep and they go into a coma and yeah. they never wake up. Yeah, yeah. It's not okay. that bad, really, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not that bad. Yeah. So. so, let's talk about your channel a little bit. You're, uh, sure. You're Ecuador Raw and Real. I've watched your videos. and Thank you. There's one thing that you do that's a lot different than what I do. Uh, I think it's probably because you're more gutsy than I am. <laughs> is you, And uh, this is for the benefit of my viewers because... A lot of my viewers are always asking me, go out and show the city, go walk around, let us see the streets and so forth. And you do that a lot. I do that. You a do lot. that a lot on your videos. So mostly all of them. Yeah, I so I, I I encourage everybody because I don't do that because I don't have the nerves that he does. And, <laughs> and, you know, but go look at his Love channel. Go everybody go look at his channel and I'll put the link below and you will see the streets of Monta yeah, yeah. and you see the Ecuador raw and real for sure. Oh, that's so, awesome, man. I appreciate okay. that, buddy. Okay, we're going to cut it off that. there. And, uh, you know, if, if anybody has any questions or wants to get in touch with you, uh, they can leave it in the comment section. Absolutely. And man. if anybody wants to get in touch with you personally to talk about this situation, yep. uh, they can write to me and I'll give them your email address. Absolutely. And then they can reach out to you personally i'm so. here to help anybody i can anybody i can and help inspire people that have uh, any sort of sickness or illness Absolutely. that you know yeah. there's lots uh, lots in life left for you so don't give up hope and uh you know surround yourself with good people and um you'll, you'll be life, okay you'll be yeah. okay man yeah. you will be okay okay love all right you, that's it love, love you too man run real baby yeah see y'all later ciao 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 ciao